Women. What's important here is that for the first time ever in Denver, the number of Latino residents will be equally represented on city council. Yeah, it's not a surprise or a mistake. Mika Rosenauer isn't just saying that to say it. She's the executive director of Emerge Colorado, a progressive organization that trains and supports women to run for office. They're just one of several groups in our state creating a pipeline of minorities into elected office. Clearly, we are seeing the fruits of, of the labor of those leadership workers. Nine News political expert James Mejia says that's why this map looks the way it does. The darker the red, the more Latinos in the district. Check this out. Latina Candy C. DeBaca beat the incumbent in District 9. Jamie Torres won District 3. Davey Ortega won at large. Amanda Sandoval in District 1. And Stacey Gilmore in District 11. With five of 13 council members with a Latino background, the Latino voice is going to be heard. You're going to hear about the issues that are important to the Latino community at the same kind of representation for the first time in history with the Latino population. It was a historic election. We've heard the phrase, the future is Latino. Omika well, says that future is now. Because we have seats at the table, and if we don't, we need to pull up our chairs and create one. So Kyle Emerge is behind a lot of the big Democratic wins. Jenna Griswold, Secretary of State, Brianna Titone, first transgender legislator in Colorado, and now Candy C. DeBacca, first LGBTQ woman of Colorado of color in Denver's city council. Altogether, 50 women across the state in office right now coming out of this Emerge program. I think one of the most interesting things about Emerge is there are a number of groups that train people to get into politics for the first time, often starting small. They are both starting with lesser known races and just shooting straight for the top. All levels, so smaller mm -hmm. government, top government, and what they say is that that's the point. You need to make sure that you have that support system so that if you want to pass anything, you've got that support on all levels of government. Yeah, all of a sudden, classmates become allies in elected office. Interesting. All right. Exactly. Thank you, Sonia.